You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. We often have the pleasure of interacting with many of our great friends, neighbors, and partners across the community when filming our stories. We now go back and remember some of the most interesting and compelling stories of 2019. I got, um, I got a, f uh, I got a tambourine. My sister got a frisbee. Next, I spoke to Laura, who's going to tell you all about the Great Marshbank Park. My name is Laura, and I am going to tell you about the Great Marshbank Park here. Okay. And uh, and there's free stuff selling all, all right on the corner. And I have gotten a beach ball, free and new. New, and my sister has gotten a frisbee that I am going to throw. And last but not least, I spoke with Ariana, who got a frisbee from over there. Uh, a frisbee. A frisbee? Where'd you get the frisbee from? Oh, from over there. From over there? For over a decade, West Bloomfield residents have tuned into township board meetings to find Howard Rosenberg at his familiar place on the dais. But I bet you didn't know that in addition to being a veteran trustee, Howard is also a docent at the Detroit Institute of Arts. Actually, I was talking to a professor of linguistics who explained to me that a docent in Latin means to teach, to lead, which is exactly what we do. We lead people around the museum, teaching them about our collection. We're trained thoroughly over a course of a nine-month period, and then continuing education after that by the curators, by our staff, by, our, by the people at the museum that vet us to make sure that what we're talking about is accurate and providing good, solid information to our visitors. Ran by our park system, the trail is operated entirely by volunteers from local community organizations and community service-seeking students from West Bloomfield High School. So um, Trick or Trail is basically the community coming together. We have um, a number of businesses and organizations that come and set up along the trail. Um, and then we have um, sponsors, of course, that uh, help us make the event possible as well. And then we have volunteers mostly, which are high school students that come out and uh, they dress up in our different character costumes. Um, they help us uh, basically help facilitate the event as well. So it's definitely a community feel. Um, and takes every, basically everyone to uh, kind of get the event um, going and for it to be successful. As Megan's own life changed, so did her art. And looking at the work, you can see precisely when certain life events took place, as she explains. So as this was being worked on, or as, as, as I was working on this, my husband became very ill. And consequently, what started to happen was that the water symbolism started turning into double helixes. I started thinking much more about, about life and death, about you know, people in general. Um, when he passed away, the figures turned into bones and hearts, and that ends the series. Mm -hmm. And to see more of all of these moments, you can visit civiccentertv.com slash 2019 people. Thanks for watching this segment of The Splash. To watch the entire show or other segments, catch us on Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us every week on 89.3 WBLD, the all-new Lakes FM.